Some people disparagingly caricature multiculturalism as an idealistic attempt to so engineer human society that widely divergent types of people live together in peace and harmony, when the reality of the situation is that people have real differences, and to socially engineer a situation in which they are more or less forced to live together is to guarantee disaster. I don't follow this young bloods come on people sort of view of multiculturalism, where everyone lives happily and celebrates their diversity, etc. That can be a happy side effect of my view of multiculturalism, and there is some evidence that this is actually a possibility. But it is a side effect of the general impetus which, in my view, should underline multiculturalism as a political philosophy. I reiterate, the world is shrinking. The demographic shifts, the movements of populations that are taking place in the modern world, boggle the mind. Visit the San Isidro border crossing in Southern California and you will see the biggest example on earth of the fluidity of human population. But you can notice this anywhere, practically these days, as long as there's an airport. If anything, the movements of population are going to accelerate, and nothing short of totalitarianism is going to affect that. My view of multiculturalism is simply looking facts in the face. What do we do about this central fact? We must manage the process. Multiculturalism is not an airy-fairy way to get everybody on the planet to join hands and sing Kumbaya, in my opinion. It's a way to keep us all from starting to kill each other over the fact that circumstances, not design, are forcing us to live together for the first time in human history.